Hi traders, welcome back to another YouTube video. So for this video, I'd like to talk a little bit about becoming a funded trader. So this has been one of the very hot topic in my community recently. Lots of my members or students are actually taking this funded evaluation or challenge. So uh, lots of people, as most of the traders, their ultimate goal has always been to become a funded trader because we don't have access to that kind of um, 100K, 200K, 300K capital. So the only way you are able to leverage your skill set, which is your trading skill, to get more profit is actually to get through some of these evaluation uh, accounts. Then you can potentially get funded, then make a lot more returns, right? But this video here, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to, talk bad about funded um, capital but what I'm trying to say here is these funded companies yes they are here really seeking to help profitable consistent traders but if you are someone that hasn't been found consistency in the past so I'll say if you're someone looking to take the funded evaluation account you will at least need to have three to six months of trade records proving that you are profitable over the past three to six months. If you can't even show yourself um, generating consistent returns over the, the last half a year, there's no way you can pass this funded challenge. Even if you pass them, you will still likely to fill the account, then redo it all over again, then just keep burning your cash on the challenges. Because I've seen Lots of traders that approach me saying that they have lost five, six, ten, twenty challenges, yet haven't made any single cent of return. Why? That's because all the all the mindset they're focusing on is how can I get rich quick through the funded account, through the six figures capital. So that's a wrong mindset to begin with. So remember. These funded companies, especially the big names like FTMO, My Forex Fund, nowadays we got a lot more um, the funded trader, whatever. All these companies, they make millions, like FTMO, they make tens of millions of dollars per year just from people buying their challenges. So how are they able to make this kind of profit? That's basically just because 90 to 95 of traders actually just keep blowing up their cash onto the challenge without knowing what they're doing, without having a plan, without having track records of proving them that they're really profitable. They just keep attempting sort of like gambling on the challenges. So I do not want any of you to ever get into this psychology of I want to get it passed because I want to get make money quick. Of course, when you start having the illusion of, hey, if I were to make 10% return on a 300K account, that's $30,000, this is not bad. So, but the main thing is, do you have the skill or the evidence to show how good you are, right? That's one of the biggest questions that you have to ask yourself. Are you able to sustain their, um, their rules, uh, respect their drawdown rules, their max drawdown, their um, some other rules. You, you just, when, when you're getting funded, there are certain rules and criteria that you have to comply with. It's not just like I get the capital, you get to do whatever you want. You got a maximum 10% drawdown, you got a maximum daily 5% drawdown. If you can't comply with your risk management, you'll still lose them. Then if you can't even make it f to your first payout, What's the purpose of participating in the evaluation? Yeah, it makes no sense, right? Second thing is don't ever take becoming a funded trader as your end goal in trading. Because one of the wrong mindset I've been observing was that lots of traders, they think, hey, if I were to get funded, if I really got that, that 200K capital, my dream comes true. I can be a full-time trader. The main thing is this, be a little bit more realistic and objective. What's the main criteria that allows you to actually trade full-time? 
The answer is your backup money, your cash savings, right? If you don't have enough cash savings, can you actually go trade full time? No. If you don't have enough backup funds, can you become a full time trader? No. Because if let's say right now your personal capital is five thousand dollars, and that fund capital is around three hundred thousand, if you put them side by side, compare uh, comparing them, the gap is just way too much. Yes. Even if you make money on the fund accounts, you still have to reinvest them back to your own capital, because if funded accounts are your main source of income what if someday you accidentally blow up their capital right then you have to retake the process all over again let's do the math here how long does it take for you to at least pass the funded challenge and also get to your first payout for most of the companies they probably have 14 days to 30 days after you pass the, the challenge to at least get your first payout considering the fact that you close positive so if let's say you spend you do it very quick you spend one month to pass your phase one and phase two then you get to your funded accounts then it takes you another 14 days to 30 days to get to your first payout there's about one and a half months to two months to become funded and to get your money so if let's say you take a challenge, you get to fund it, you blow it up, then you have to retake the process all over again. That's going to take you probably three to six months to get some money coming in. So for me, I value time a lot more than money. If I were to spend three to six months not having any income as a full-time trader, I believe I would have been really panicked as well. That's why I want all of you to remember, no matter how much you love these funded companies, or no matter how much you think they are reliable, there's no guarantee how long are they going to stay in this, in this game, in this field. What if two years later, we don't have these funded companies anymore? All of them just vanished. Then what are you going to do? Are you going to sit there just trading your $5,000 capital to trade full time? But that time for you to go back to a normal job is way too tough, right? That's why it goes to the third point, which is when you make some money from these funded companies, make sure first thing, reinvest them. Second thing, you can actually put them onto something sort of a safer investment. Could be the ETFs, could be properties, could be the REITs, REIT REITs. It could be, um, it could be real estate, it could be anything. And the last thing is please make sure you put them into the savings. Don't just make money and just spend all of them onto luxury cars, onto LV bags, unnecessary stuff. I've seen lots of traders making tons of money in the market, but if you ask them how much do you have, I have about 10 grand in my account. They've made close to a million dollars, but why do they have left so little money? That's because they do not know how to keep their profit and being a, a full-time trader you need to have some sort of security for me if let's say this month i make 300k 100k okay could be going to my expenses that's fine 100k goes into my expenses 100k goes into my savings 100k goes into investment whether it's a watch whether if, if it's a real estate whether if it's um, uh, stocks or whatever the money needs to be split into three or four pieces and i'll only use maximum 25 to 30 percent on some of the stupid expenses it could be uh, treating my wife to a nice vacation uh, it could be having fancy meals it could be buying stupid things like shirt or bags or whatever but i make sure it doesn't exit 25 to 30 percent that's one i want all of you to remember keeping your money is much more important than knowing how to make money most most traders and most people most entrepreneurs go bankrupt doesn't not because they don't know how to make money they in fact have made a lot of money but they do not know how to save their money they do not know how to do the account part they do not know how to 
um, organize their their profits, their 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 money in general. So, and the next point is, please make sure becoming a good funded trader is all about consistency. You wouldn't want to make ten percent this month, blow up your account next month, retake the challenge make 20% next month, blow it up again, spend six months getting funded again, etc, etc. So just make sure consistency is the only thing that you should aim for as a funded trader. Then once you have enough capital, once you have enough savings to actually build up your own capital as equivalent as the same size as your funded camp capital, it could be $300,000 per of capital, 300k fund capital that's you that's when you can start slowing down a little bit because you got enough backup funds you got enough backup capital to trade even if something goes wrong to your funded capitals all right don't ever aim for that kind of 20 30 40 50 percent returns trading these fund accounts because realistically how much do you need to make to actually become a full-time trader it's not that difficult. If you can make five to ten k per month consistently, you can already become a full time trader because you don't spend that much. Unless you're someone who who enjoys buying stupid things, then of course you go beyond the expenses. But just make sure you are aiming for consistent returns. Uh, the mindset should always be, I want to make five to ten percent return consistently. So in order to do that, one year, how much should I, how many percent should I make? Maybe 50%. So divide them into each quarter, each quarter I'm looking to, to get this much. Then you divide them into uh, some disciplinary objectives. It could be, I want to have consistent returns. I want to stick to strategy A. I want to stick to my checklist before I take any trade. I want to avoid Asian session, etc., etc. So once you have all these objectives written down, then you can start dividing them. So for me to achieve 50% a year, I need to make about 4.5% per month. Then turns into objective mode again, how can I make 4.5% per month? Go back to your consistency. I need to avoid taking substandard, standard, uh, substandard setup. I need to avoid training the Asian session. I need to avoid having a five pip stop loss, I need to widen my stops in order to increase my strike rate. So make sure all these are what you're aiming for because as a full-time trader myself, I've never once say I want to make 100 grand this month. Some of my best months are extremely, completely unpredictable. Like last month, I made over 120 to 130k in March. It was completely Un unexpected, unpredictable. So what did I do to make that kind of profit? I was just focusing on my discipline, focusing on my strategy. I was doing things that I was supposed to do. That's it. Wake up in the morning, do a bit of analyzing, do uh, update my students, record some workshops, trade calls, do my back testing, practicing, spend my time with my family. I just trade like usual. All right, but I but. What differentiates me from um, the top 5% um, to the 95% of losing trader was that I have a set of routine. I have trading plan. I have rules that I must comply with. If I say I don't trade the Asian session, I will never touch the Asian session. Even though how tempting certain setups looks like, I, the rules is the rules. I can't break it. So same thing goes to all of you. If you want to make consistent return, you must be consistent with your execution and your action plan. If you're not being consistent with your action plan, don't talk about consistency. You can't even make it to a full-time trader. Maybe after 10 years, you still can't make it. I have over 50 students in the past easily. And trust me, out of all of them, the most successful, the most passionate traders are always those who are quiet, who focus on tasks that they must achieve, focus on their yearly goals, if divide them into smaller pieces. It, the most successful traders are never those who are always daydreaming. I want to drive a Ferrari. I want to drive a Lamborghini. I want to buy a Rolex. 
then what? Monetary goals are complete illusions until you put them into action and say, for me to buy a nice watch like this, for example, for me to buy the Daytona Panda, it cost me about 40K, $40,000. So for me to make $40,000, realistically speaking, I need to be a very good trader. I need to be a disciplined trader. So how can I be a disciplined trader? I must first be disciplined with my mindset and my routine. Let's make it more realistic, all right? Because that's the only way you can become a good trader. But don't focus on money, focus on action plan, focus on your execution, focus on your discipline and consistency, all right? So that's it for the sharing on this one. I hope this doesn't break your funded um, dreams, but I'm, I'm just trying to be very, very real here and tell all of you that how difficult it is to purely become a full-time funded trader and what are the likely probability that might happen if you are only relying on the funded capitals. So that's it for the video. If you like the video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.